Hello everyone, Savarita here. In my last video, I showed you how files on a computer can be accessed without using the password. In this one, we'll be doing the same thing, except it'll be easier by just using a USB flash drive. Let's get straight to it. As you can see on this computer, we have a bunch of files. We have pictures of fish. We have Word docs, confidential information. And we also have a password. I will show you now how these same files can be accessed without the use of the password. So the first thing a hacker would do is on any computer, um, it doesn't have to be the same computer, they would go and look up Linux Mint download. So that's what you're going to do if you want to try this. You can hit the go to downloads or you can hit the actual website. Once you get to the actual website, there are several editions made, Cinnamon and XFCE. Every edition has a description. Um, you will want to select the XFC edition because it's light, super easy to use, and you can boot live to do exactly what we're going to do, which is accessing the files without the password. Click on download. We'll go down to the list here. You can choose any mirror, but I'll choose Harvard because I like Harvard. Wait for it to download. Once the download is complete, you're going to want to open the file location. And with your USB drive inserted, make sure to format it. Like nothing will be left on the thumb drive, just a blank thumb drive. So we'll go back again. With this ISO, you'll right click and click mount, run, and it will open. Or you can click on the DVD open and select everything, copy, paste it on the thumb drive, in the thumb drive, and with these files in the thumb drive, we're ready for the next step. Again, make sure you have that thumb drive full of these files in the jet. So using this computer and the flash drive you cooked, we're gonna access the files on this computer without using the password. So this is the flash drive we cooked, and the next thing you wanna do is identify the boot key or your computer, It'll be one of those F keys, or it'll be the escape key. It depends. Mine is the escape key. I'll put a link in the description on how to find your boot key, and let's plug in here. So once you plug in, you want to power hit the power button, but be ready to repeatedly hit the boot key. So we tap, 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 escape, and we keep doing it until it shows the boot option. Once you have these options, you'll select the one that says USB. You'll select the first option here, which is to start Linux Mint. And it'll give you this desktop on which you will open the file explorer. And we'll go to the OS, which is the hard drive of the computer. And this is the files of the computer. We'll go to users. We'll select our user. We'll go to desktop where all the files are at. And as you can see, you're seeing all the files that were on that, that are on the same computer, but without using any password, we can access that same fish picture or that same confidential document. And just like that, we have access to this computer without using any password, just by using a cooked flash drive so all the pictures are vulnerable here all the documents you can even edit stuff and once you're done with your exploration or your forensic case whatever you're doing um, you can always go and turn it off and everything will go back to normal so when you turn it off you want to remove the USB on this phase and hit enter and then you can restart the computer by hitting the power button and we're back to the password screen, which by now you know doesn't really protect you. So I'll show you how to protect yourself from that happening to you and keep following along. You're gonna need Windows 10 Pro or Education for that. The home version doesn't have it, but you'll want to look up BitLocker on your computer. Click on Manage BitLocker. Click on Turn on BitLocker. It'll load, but while it's loading, let me just tell you that what you're doing is basically encrypting the hard drive so that 
if someone were to use the same method we use, it would require that encryption key that we're going to create. So with that Linux thing, uh, if you try to open the hard drive, it'd say, please input the encryption key. And that's what we're going to save to file. But if you're going to choose the option save to file, you want to make sure that you have a thumb drive to save it on because it won't allow you to save it on the computer. That's because if you need the recovery key, it can't be on the computer, right? So if you get locked out of your computer and your recovery key is on the computer, then you're doomed, right? So what you're going to want to do is save it somewhere else, maybe on your Google Drive or your cloud somewhere. Um, yeah, it won't allow you. But a cool trick is to just print the recovery key as PDF. Name is something you can remember for that specific computer so that if it locks you out one day, you can use it to recover. And wherever you saved it, you want to go there, take it immediately and put it on your Google Drive. I won't do it right now, just open it to show you. So this is the identifier, that's what the name of the key is, and this is the recovery key. That's what you will enter if you get locked out or if you want to if you want to access it via Linux and access the files like that way you would need to enter that recovery key without it you can't access anything on the drive um, and it's not something that you're gonna have to put every time you log in on your computer it's just if you try to access the drive in weird ways like we just did make sure you finish the encryption steps select the default settings yep encryption may take a while to complete but once it's done you can click out you can always come back here to save your recovery key again but again remember it's not something you have to enter every time you log in it's just if you want to access the hard drive in weird ways or if it feels something is off like someone's trying to hack your hard drive then it will require the key don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with someone who might find it cool or useful